All right, everybody, stay very quiet. We don't want to scare it away. If we move too quickly, it'll run. And... HA! Hello and welcome to Mr. Red Plays. Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have opening the presents. I have opening the presents. <laughs> Dumb. Hey, I got a simple parka. What does this look like? Oh, it's a simple parka. Okay, great. I don't like this as much as I like my baggy shirt. So I'm going to wear that. I, I just like the 70s aesthetic of it. All right, so here we are. We're playing. Let's, before we go talk to Blathers, like I promised you we would do, I'm going to actually uh, bash on this rock a little bit. Oops. Okay, good. I didn't want to do it. There's a trick to this, I found out. I, I, I learned this trick. You can actually, like, if you hit the rock, you go blasted backwards. And like Mario, I think, um, hitting the rock one time and then walking away means you only get to hit it once. And if you come back, that's it. You won't get it. But if you hit it eight times, you get eight things, and that's the max you can do. But you have to do it rapidly, and if you get blasted back, you lose time. So you can actually stop yourself by making this if you don't jump over it like that and then line it up like this and then you can just spam the a button you can just spam it oh god spam it i'm just kidding no yeah it's good so you can get all eight of them i got one more boom hell yes dude hell yes awesome we didn't really get much good stuff here we just got some stone but listen, I got some gold nuggets, by the way, once. I don't... Twice, actually. I think you saw them in the last episode. I'm not sure what to use them for because I haven't figured out... I, I don't have any recipes that require them, I think. But I don't know. Oh, let's let's catch this guy. Let's catch this boy. Ha! Got he. Oh, there's so many flowers to get. There's so many. Yeah, so what... So, all right, people... All right, all right. Here, here's something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit something. When I play, oops, when I play this game, there's kind of an issue of, there's, there's, there's a debate, not a debate so much as like a thing about time traveling in this game. You know what I mean? It's, it's where you set your system to a different time than it actually is to either progress, damn it, or just make other things happen in the game. There's many different reasons you'd do it. It kind of does mess with turnip prices, which I don't know anything about turnips. I haven't messed with those at all. But, oh, I won't have any room in my pockets if I plug this, so I'll just leave it is. Uh-oh. Not a big deal. So I don't know anything about turnips. I haven't messed with those. Maybe we'll look at those later in this episode. But the the thing is, when we talk about time traveling, I do that. <laughs> I, I'm a time traveler. I'm a filthy time traveler. And I know people are going to be like, what the hell? Here's the thing. Not only am I a time traveler. I'm a consistent time traveler. I do it all the time. I can't stop. I'm addicted to it. Here's why. Because I play most of my games at night. And when Jody, my fiance, is in bed asleep and I'm editing videos or whatever, I or watching TV, I'll be playing a video game. And that's, I spend hours doing that. So I, I play this game during the day very rarely, which means I cannot go to the nooks, cranny, and sell stuff Unless it's daytime. So what I always do, and I'm, I'm very consistent with this, I will set it to like 8 in the morning the next day and um, play and do all my morning stuff, my daily stuff, and sell things, and then go to bed, reset my system clock to like set it to internet time or whatever. And then the next day, I really don't play it that much. Or if I do, it's the same day. So it's not like I'm going forward each time and, and just keep getting the new daily stuff that I need to do. I only do it for the sake of actually being able to play the game. So I think that's okay. I'm not getting anything more out of the game other than just convenience for my time. Uh, anyway, this is Blathers. Welcome to the Winterfell Museum. How may I be of service? Let's assess some fossils here. Who? Hey, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. Oh, I have two fossils. Okay. Forgot I got that second one. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Here we go. Who? More than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed. Quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. I am indeed tempted to purchase these for my personal collection. But no, I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Great. Well, this was pointless. I don't think I can donate anything. Yeah, I've been, I've been pretty good about donating stuff, so I don't really have anything, anything to donate, really. 
Let's check out our museum. Let's let's see what we got. All right, here we go. This is our museum. Uh, we we got pretty much everything. I see a tree here that isn't been that isn't been, you know, freaking donated to yet. Ow! That was scary. This thing's right up in my six. This thing's right up in my face. I don't like that. The character's giving it the side eye, like, oh, get away. I don't like bugs. Just like blathers. Yeah, so here's Mermantis. He's kind of hiding out. You can see him, though. Yeah, this, this is the bug area. I hate this place. It sucks. It sucks. What's up here? I don't, I don't really explore all this much place, this all much doing. B, fourth, two, four, why, so forth, being. Oh, ew. We got, what is this? Wharf roach, hermit crab. Ew. Ew. These are empty. These are my favorite ones so far. There's nothing disgusting in them. Oh, there's the guy. Oh, there's the other guy. Why is there a tin can in there? Can I get that and use it for... Succulent? Pillbug. Centipede. Ew. Ew. Moth. Is that... Is that centipede going to eat that moth? I feel like that's going to happen. Why wouldn't it? Don't centipedes eat like other bugs? Also, I'm like ducking under the thing... And I don't mean to. I gotta be up. I gotta be up. I gotta be up. Oh, ew, butterflies. Oh, God, butterflies. Oh, God, no. I don't know why I hate bugs the way I do. I just, they, they just creep me out. They're just so creepy crawly, you know what I mean? All right, so, ew, there's like uh, that big fat thing in the back that I don't, I don't know the name of it. Diving beetle. Oh, it's a giant water bug. Great. It's a giant water bug. All right, let's see. Let's check out other stuff. We have... What else can you catch? It's 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 freaking fish. There it is. It's fish. Okay. I knew it was something. I did know it was something. You can't, you can't deny that it wasn't something that I knew because it was. Here's all my fish. I got a bunch of them. I think I'm more than halfway done with all the animals to donate. But I can't be sure because well I, I can be sure actually I can I can check out my uh, my critterpedia look at this okay maybe it's about half there I, I've been doing this a lot I got I it's hard to tell if it's half or not because there's a lot of empty spaces here but there's also a lot of filled in spaces so I think I got most of the bugs anyway we, we, my, uh, the last thing we'll check out is the the dinosaur exhibit because I like the dinosaurs the most this is I, I actually think this is really cool this whole museum aspect to it I think it's awesome that they put this in because you, especially nowadays where you can't really go to museums and uh, do much of anything really uh, it's it's good to have this virtual experience and it makes me kind of wish that there was more of a video game that's not even a game so much as it is just you can wander around a big museum area and see stuff. Why don't they have, like, a virtual The Louvre or whatever for people? And maybe they do, and I just don't know about it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything like that, because that'd be really cool. Like, look at all this stuff. That's a, there's a freaking shark back there! Encon... Aconthastega. Okay. Sharp tooth pattern. Okay. Hey, why didn't you show me the... No, I want to see the... I want to see the shark, though! Oh, maybe that's, that's, that's like the representation of what those things are. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I got the I got the Jurassic Park ember thing in the back there, so that's that's always good. You 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 want the Jurassic Park references in your in your museum, you know what I mean? Okay, so in here we have the big boys. We have the giant uh what it was is a brontosaurus? Diplodocus. 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 Hey, Diplodocus. Come here. Here's a Brachiosaurus. Please do Oh, it's missing, I think, its tail, probably. Oh, so I got a Spinosaurus. No, this is a Demetrodon. Yes, I love the Demetrodon. Oh, no, a little, bo little baby Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <sighs> cool. Oh, geez, that's scary. That's dark. Why would you put this with all the other dinosaurs? They're going to get freaked out. Like this guy, he's running for his life. He's jumping out of the way. Ah, uh, this is Deinonychus. And this is Ark. Archaea Archaeopteryx. I'm pretty sure I'm nailing this. Oh God, this one's scary. Look at this guy. Oh, that is terrifying. It's a, that's the Spinosaurus. Oh, it's so big. Oh, gross. Ew, coprolite. Do you know what this is? Do you know what coprolite is? Take a guess. Take a guess based on the way it looks. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So these are our dinosaurs. This one has been phasing out of existence for a while. So 
That's a problem for us. Oh, and we got the Pterodon. Nope. Quetzalcoatlus. There's the ter- Pteranodon. Yeah, so we've been doing pretty well for ourselves by by way of the museum. I've been really trying to fill it out. I, I want to get this done. This is a lot like Stardew Valley where you, you find random stuff in the world and you can donate it to the museum, but then you can do the rest of it you can sell. Like I have the rest of the stuff, we can go sell it. Wake up, Blathers! Didn't wake up. I thought I could scare him into waking up, but alas, no. All right, so let's 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 head out. Let's let's see. We got to go sell some stuff because we cannot get the black bass until we sell some some trash. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, I was gonna catch it, but I can't. Oh, before I can sell stuff, <laughs> freaking out. Okay, before we sell stuff, we have to get rid of some of our more egregious nonsense because we don't need, for example, this. We can get rid of that. We can put this in there. There we go. I I guess I'll now nah, sell the stones. I don't really need. I have. More of those than I know what to do with. And that's it. Everything else I can sell. No, wait, wait, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, ouchies, ouchies. I'm going to go back in. I wanted to get rid of my simple parka. I wanted to put that in here too. Because, oh, actually, let's 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 decorate our home some more. We'll get that 101st item. Again, I keep leaning back and my chin gets cut off. I need to be up here. This is where I need to be. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Like they tell you. All right, put it on the wall. Here we go. Let us put the simple parka on the wall. I can't really see that. There we go. That's better. Yeah, so once I, again, once I get my, all the stuff, I'm going to modify it so it's a real home. I'm going to actually, like, make it look cool and interesting instead of just filling it out with garbage. Just pure trash. And that'll be, that'll be, that'll be good, I think. And th- maybe I'll show you guys that. I don't know if there's going to be an ongoing series. I'm only doing, like, these, what, two episodes? And then maybe I'll do some more if people respond to it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do any more episodes of this. Because I, I I would love to know I would I would enjoy doing this. Okay, so let's sell all of our stuff and then we will get done with it. I'm gonna sell everything, just everything. Sell the flowers, sell the sell the dinos, sell the stones, everything. There we go. Okay, how much is this? Sixteen thousand. That's pretty good. Um, that's a lot. That's a good haul. I I like to do this and then. Um, just basically put all of that towards my home loan, really. Uh, cause that, that seems to be the best course of action because I really want to get that last home upgrade too. I think I have all of them except one and I don't know what it is. Cause I already have, I already have, uh, three rooms, side rooms. So we'll have to see. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is not going to be a black bass, but maybe it'll be something else that's interesting and fun and delicious. Uh Oh, am I giving away that I, uh, eat these animals okay here we go catch it we can do this we can do this we can do this yes okay i am sometimes very bad at um catching fish because you have to whoa there he goes that's a banded dragonfly that one's like i think worth a lot of money it always makes a big show out of you catching it it's always like you did it and uh i think that's because those are supposed to be like harder to catch see See, that one takes too long, and it 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 fries my senses. Ah, oh, that's not a good one. But yeah, I don't. I, sometimes I don't really bother because I'm not trying to go for the dragonflies. What I need is the black bass. Here we go. This isn't gonna be it either. But listen, is this bluegill? It is. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can't find this thing on the rip. That's a small one. I'm not gonna bother with it. Really, I'm just kind of wandering back and forth until I until I find it, which could be a huayel. I scared off that fish, by the way. Am I sorry? No. I got a gift. I got a gift from Mochi. Not Mochi. He says Mochi. Genji. I learned how to make a log round table. Hey, it just takes 15 hardwood? Damn, Genji. Give me something a little easier to pallet, why don't you? Get out of here, you. Shoo. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is gonna be a black bass for sure. All right, here we go. Black bass. Here we go. Black. Here we go. Black bass time. It's time. It's time for the black bass. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make it. Oh, I'm gonna get him. Oh, I'm gonna get the boy. I'm gonna catch the boy. Ha! Here we go. Yes. I think I've done it. I've done it. Oh, it's uh. Yes, it's the black bass. I got it all. I did it. Oh, I did it. I so totally did it. 
It was never a sea. It was never a black bass. It was never. It. I. It. What. I. Fi- I thought. It. What. I. T- I. T- ah! This is awkward. So I wanted to catch a sea bass, not a black bass, which is in the sea, obviously. Obviously. So I'll go there and try that. All right, here we go. Uh, this is actually another thing that I like to do. This also. Oh! Gulliver. All right, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, another thing that I think makes you a ton of money is, oh, damn it, um, is 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 going along the shore and picking up all the shells and catching fish. I don't really bother with the. Sometimes you'll see like a little um thing in the sand that you can dig up, but those only get you like a hundred bells, and I don't. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. I don't bother with them. There's just not a lot of fish in the sea. You know what I mean? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is not far enough. And this is not going to be a sea bass. Actually, I don't know how big a sea bass is. I assume bigger than this, but we'll try it. I mean, what else do we have to do, right? And we'll talk to we'll talk to Gulliver up there in a minute. Something weird happened with Gulliver. So he shows up on your island, and he's like, Hey, I, cr- I shipwrecked, and I need your help. Can you get me some rusted parts? No, not rusted parts, but like parts that you find. You have to dig them up like this. Uh, oh, here we go. And And once you do that, he leaves. And then... There's there's clearly stuff in the Miles program for him coming back. And so I was playing this and he came back. I saw him actually like right about here where I'm where I'm standing. Uh he was hanging out. Sea bass? I think it is. It looks like one. Yes! Oh, I did it. No wait, it's at least a C plus. I don't really get that either. C base again? I don't know. Alright, so we got all of these. Anyway, oh, what I'm saying is he showed up there. And I talked to him, and he never woke up. He was just sleeping. And so I left. And then the next day, he was gone. And I didn't know if he was supposed to stay, or if that's normal, or what. But either way, we got a, we're going to get a ton of miles from doing this. So I'm just raking in those, that, the, those miles. You know what I mean? I'm just raking them in. They're just coming in. They're coming in hot. And then the, it unlocks another stuff. I usually don't do this, because I usually, whenever I unlock something, I will cash them in, claim them. Because it opens up more stuff, like DIY and catching bugs. I've been doing that. I could have been getting these points for them, but no. Popping a balloon. We did that earlier. Uh, sell a hot item for a fortune. This is why I wanted to know about that. But first, let's do this. Ha! I'm digging. I'm a dig boy. Uh-oh. Get back here. I'm going to try to catch that banded dragonfly. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to catch the dra- banded dragonfly. Talk to Gulliver. Oh, oh here it is. Ha! I can't do- oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh! Yes! Oh, I got it! I accidentally pressed the right- the ZR button, and, uh, uh, it brought up that thing. My emotes! I'm happy. Aw, oh, that's cute. Alright, so I'll ignore the fish, because right now I just need to go and t- see- see what Gulliver boy is up to. He's- 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 he's a- he's a weird one, for sure. To be sure. Ha! Check this out. Check this out. Hello, Gulliver. Ark, Buccaneer. That's a bit out of me price range. Could I talk you into a discount for both ears? Zzz. So I don't know if he's going to be asleep the whole time. I don't, I don't know how to wake him up. I don't know. Oh, I woke him up. All right. Well, there you go. Arg, this buffet may be the end of me, lads, but I think I can tamp a bit more peach cobbler down me gullet. Avast! Where'd the buffet go? What trickery is this? Do you even know who you be messing with? I be Captain Gullivar, legendary pirate, feared for all manner of dreadful gullduggery. Arr. Now, where's the cruel matey who burst me buffet bubble? Was it ye? Arr, don't, you don't be, you don't look very cruel. I suppose you did me a favor. I might have gobbled up this whole beach. Aye, you saved me stomach lining from a sandy demise. Begging your pardon for me sleepy confusion. Arr. Oof, but I do have a powerful ache in me noggin. I was partaking of a bit of the good soda with me crew, but I tumbled over the prow and into the sea. Again, again, this is the second time that I've met this guy. Tis naught but a mild inconvenience, though, for we be living in an age of gadgety, <laughs> gadgety miracles. I've got me a treasure that can summon a ship, day or night, sea or shore. Har! So long as I've got me trusty old communicator, I'll just be... Uh... Hmm. This is awkward. Oh my gosh! 
<laughs> I like this game. Me trusty communicator is gone and vanished. Arr! Those waves bopped me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of me pocket. That means I'm lost at sea. I'll have to wait for me buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take quite a bit of time. I'm still workshopping me pirate buns, so these are sure to run out fast. Okay. Ahoy, you with the well-sized noggin. Will you help a stranded seabird find his lost communicator? Sure, I'll look for it. Why not? This is just ass on the voice to do. Arr, you means it? Now there be a shanty deserving of a jig. Uh-oh, are you gonna dance? I don't want you to. Me gut says me communicator, communicator is in a nearby ocean. Me crew is surely searching for me, so I should be keeping lookout. Gots to be on land for that, you savvy. That means it's up to ye to swim about and find me communicator. I'm found to come to down, you matey. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets before you hunt, else you be blundering your plunder. <laughs> Great. Okay, so that's interesting. The last one, it was hidden under the, in the dirt. I guess this time it's out, out to sea where those bubbles might be. Yar. All right, last thing we'll do, we will go and we will... I'm not going to do that on the episode because that could take forever. And the episode's almost done. Ha ha ha. I'm going to go see what this fossil is because I'm sure some people are dying to know. Or you probably don't care. Also, is Blathers mad at me for waking him up all the time? Because I feel like he would be. All right, let's assess this fossil. Let's see what we got. What do we got here? This is... What is this? This is... Let me see here. Hmm... Oh, of course it would be one thing. A Parasaur Skull! If only... Okay, we already have one. All right, so I can't donate it, which is fine. I don't need to. I'll go sell it. Um, And 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 then we'll be done. So, I, again, like I say, I don't know if I'm going to do this more. Let me know if you want to see more of this. I might record one or two more episodes, just to, if I can't find anything else to, to record. Let me know what you want to see on this channel. I'm, I'm curious about you. You people my audience. So let me know. I, I, I really want to play games that people are excited about. And this is a game that I, th I mean, people are over it already. So I'm, I'm not expecting this to get like mad views, yo, but it's, it's fine. I, I just, oh, let's check out the turnips actually. Current price for turnips is 60 bells per turnip. That's really bad from what I've seen other people do, but, and I have no idea how to influence that or how to buy turnips or what turnips are. I don't seem to have access to them yet. Maybe you unlock them later. I'm not sure, but 14,000, that's a lot. Wow, I have 34,000 bells. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for something. Maybe this, maybe not. Who's to say? Thank you for joining me on this journey, and uh, I, I will see you soon. I, I always try to end this game whenever I play it. I always try to end it by going to my room, turning the lights off, and lying in bed. I don't know why. There's no reason to do so. Uh, you can save at any point, but hey, these, these, we, we, it's 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 really just a matter of everybody lives their own lives. You know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Oh, turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. Bye, everyone. See you next time. I love you. Keep your head still, and I'll be your thrill, and I will go on a little with me.